John. Uh, Rod Stewart, by the way, is in Leeds on Friday. I didn't realise it was as soon as that, so I missed out on those tickets. Uh, Rod Stewart will be at uh, Elland Road this Friday, says Michael in Leeds, and another one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Martin, I think Rod Stewart is at Elland Road this Friday. So there you are, something to look forward to. Uh, meanwhile, something to look forward to uh, later today, uh, it being Bank Holiday Monday... <laughs> This is the Archer's theme. You'll, uh, you'll be familiar with this. Well, today, the village that inspired the theme tune for the Archers, uh, Holdis Maypole Festival. Uh, nothing special there, you might say. That is unless, uh, as well as going round the pole, someone has to shimmy up it because it's a heck of a maypole. Uh, well, to tell us more about Barrick and Elmet's uh, connection with the Archers, uh, we're joined in the studio by the chairman of the Maypole Festival, Nigel Trotter. Uh, Nigel, good morning to you. Good morning. So, uh, go on, what is the connection with the, uh, with the Archers theme? Well, the, uh, it was a, a Yorkshire uh, composer and uh, he entitled the uh, theme Barrick Green. Barrick Green. Um, and it, we got, uh, this afternoon we have Harry at uh, band as part of the festival, and they're going to play the whole of Barrett Green, not not just the little bit that you <laughs> this morning, Martin. You no, know, the the whole thing which goes on for a lot, quite a long time. Oh, I could so do we're it. looking forward to it. I could do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. I could do the whole thing. <laughs> in fact, we we should have got a band. We should have got a brass band in here to well, play that. Well, whole I, I'm disappointed. Yeah. So you should be. So that music's going to be performed at today's festival. Tell me about this maypole because you're mentioning if you have to shimmy up it, hell of a task. How uh, how tall is it? It's not it's 80 feet, 85 feet uh, long is the maypole and Chris Brown is going to hopefully climb it this afternoon. It's a long-standing tradition. The uh, the pole is taken down every third year at Easter, put back up on uh, Spring Bank holiday, um, and he goes up part way. The first first um, 20 feet he goes with a ladder and then he, he goes around and takes the positioning ropes off the garlands which are about just, just under half halfway up and then um, that's what he has to do uh, but again by tradition he, he then shimmies up to the top, spins wow. the fox now I've been up to the top, admittedly in a cherry picker, and I tell you what, it's a long way down. Oh God, it's a just, long way up as well. It sounds it. I mean, presumably he's uh, he's not nervous. Any. I mean, he, well, he's, he, not... he's been a lot of training. We have a, we have a spare pole in a in a field, and he's been practicing a lot as Chris. Um, uh, I mean, in, in in times gone by, uh, they they had to do it completely unaided, no harnesses, no fall ropes or anything. He's got all that, has he's got harnesses? Well, he has, oh, yeah. he has. A, when we have a, a professional climber, we with with us, we have a, a, a new belay rope, rope, and all the rest of it, just to make sure we don't pull him up, just to make sure that if if any reason he were to slip, uh, he ain't going to fall off. Wow. I, I was going to ask about safety nets and things, but clearly you've got all the precautions in place. Well, though, it? it's very difficult these days. I mean, everybody criticises health and safety, etc. Uh, um, we put the pole up with a crane now. They've got a 35-page met- method statement. Uh, <laughs> we've, we've got a 65-page method statement. So if all else fails, we'll just lean the pole against the, the paperwork. Nigel, I'd like you to now read out that 65-page uh, well, method statement. And while you're reading out all the health and safety res- rules, I'm going off to have a haircut. Well, I'll tell you what, I've got it here, so I'll start at page one. Here <laughs> no, we go. No. T- I'm teach joking, you. I'm that'll joking. Teach you. Uh, what else happens at the fair? I mean, apart from that, which sounds pretty spectacular in itself, uh, well, what, o- what else happens? Well, we have, uh, we put the pole up this morning uh, with a crane and we need lots of people to carry it down. It weighs 1.2 tonnes, so by tradition, the men of the village, but we're, 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 we're not sexist now. We'll have, uh, anybody can carry it. it. It needs a lot of people to carry it down. Then we erect it and then we use the ropes and ram it all in. Um, and it, it, it takes it takes a little while to do it. Then the school um, does the maypole dancing, but we don't dance we don't dance round that pole. We dance round a pole in Hall Tower Field, which is absolutely super sight, um, just just next to it. And the school has a procession uh, starting at one o'clock down the main street. Uh, Lord Mayor's coming. Brilliant. Um, and then, uh, and we have a street market and, and all the rest of it. It's, uh, it's a it good sounds, day out. Yeah, it and it's a local day out. So it's a brilliant day out. So it's a shame the weather's going to be a bit Well, rough today. I was, I was going, hoping to see Paul or Lisa and say, could they fix something up? You know, bit... Lisa's been in. You missed Lisa. Oh, dear me. And uh, she says it's going to rain, I'm afraid. Well, um, I'll go to word and say, you know, here's a couple of quid. Could you uh, could you make the sunshine about, about half past four or five o'clock, please? Yeah. Well, maybe it'll, uh, I don't know. When she comes in at 8.15, I'll, have a word, I'll ask. Have a 
have a word. Yeah. yeah, I'll have a word with you. I don't think that uh, a, a small bribe. I mean, she's not FIFA. I don't <laughs> think a bribe. I don't think a bribe would work. But well, we don't. We, we have to say, listening to your earlier uh, item, Martin, we don't have an ethics committee. No, in, in you probably Bay, don't we? need one. I'm sure you're all totally ethical. Uh, well, best of luck with that. I hope. I really hope the rain does hold off. What what time are, you, are the Harrogate band playing? They are playing, uh, well, they're in the procession at one o'clock right. and then they're going to perform at quarter to two and they're going to play the whole oh, of yeah. Barrick Green. Brilliant. Well, we'll hear a little bit more of it now. Uh, thank you very much indeed for uh, coming in, Nigel. Uh, oh, did you have something else you wanted to say? No. no? <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Uh, Nigel Trotter, who's the chairman of the festival, the uh, Maypole Festival in Barrick in Elmet. It's uh, now 16 minutes to 8 o'clock.